Hello Internet! And today, we're going to Guild War, and today is like actually my second time of recording the same Guild War because I used my friend's scout earlier, so I'm not using his as a scout, so I will have an easier time. No, no way, why would I do that? Shadow Knight Fillers. After scouting a lot, no, no, I mean, I mean, after thinking about it a lot, I think we could use her. Now, I've been using her a lot in, in you know, previous videos, which it's probably the only good way to deal with villains right now, and yo, I did not realize she's got a mole here. That's a mole, right? Is that a more or a stain on my PC? Well, these are the stats. She is the bellion wall. And that's all she is. The wall to a bellion. And if she doesn't do her job, I'll cry. To do a war against Vala, you will probably hear me say the same thing already. So, yeah. This is the fight. Where Shadow Knight Phyllis is so, so gonna wreck this. Please do, man. Please do. All right, here we go. Round one. 100% win rate. I'm telling you right now. And it's thanks to you. Bellion is gonna destroy half of my health in the no matter of like three turns and that's apparently balance enough to justify her not having a nerf a unit that could take away one of your game mechanic and take away half of the hp without taking a turn is so balanced man it's not even tipping any scales dude it's so so bad there's like extra attacks from you there's like extra attacks from you counter attacks from you counter attacks from you extra attacks from you if you do that with this there's so many things going on that Shadow Knight Phyllis is gonna mitigate so much damage because that's what her skill 3 does. Round 2, we're losing this, but I'm too lazy to use my brain. Just see them as well. I think I don't have a book on her. Shit. Oh, it's too late now. Right now, Celine is effectively untouchable because if you touch him, you'll die. All right, it's an A-Rob. It's a 25k one. It's probably in Proof of Valor or um, Proof of Z. It's not Proof of Valor though. But yeah, if, uh, if you see a Proof of Valor one, you might actually lose even if you use Selene, if you don't have a type up at least. All right, now I've got this, which I'll not use this first. Usually you want to just wait. I'm going to get provoked by the villain, but it should be fine. I'll have to just provoke this so that the dual attack would, you know, hit Shadow Eye. She'll keep hitting Shadow Knight, and that means I'll get a lot more will props. And if I get four of it, I'll get a defense buff. So that's exactly what I'm thinking, right? All right, this will go. We did get the Nimuzo, which is nice. Now I need to kill them soon. If we don't, if we keep not killing them, we might be, you know, fucked. All right, we can actually get rid of the defense buff with the S1 as well. So I'm hoping that happens soon. There we go. We got, you know, like triple whale proc at this point already. Now this will counter you as well. There's bigger buff. It's almost over though. We'll be needing some luck on our sides or else we're actually still going to lose this. I suppose she's almost dead. I might as well keep going with you. All right, this will go. We shouldn't. Dude, we're still resisting it. Yo. Yo, this is the first time Rowana took a turn or something. <laughs> Again, do I really have to sit through animation again can we not now this goes nimble sword thank you this should be able to kill you if not then are we fucked we're not we do this and all shadow knight needs to do is to touch her in fact i'm gonna make sure you do i could have just s1 but <laughs> for some reason i thought that might not kill so yeah that would that absolutely would and we actually get a barrier too so it's more protection for um selene here which is nice now we can do s3 again yep we effectively won this i don't know if selene's needed i kind of want to just beat these sorts of teams with like the cheapest way possible because i'm pissed and it's personal like usually i would put like a carrot here but i don't think carrot will work against like an a ravi she would if the a ravi is on like proof but i don't think this guy's on proof what the hell is he even on i don't see crimson zine in, like anywhere we go it's not gonna kill me no way defense buff with whale no chance chance to kill me man oh, this is this cool. all right get the provoke up and get the cells thing with the heal and the barrier up yep yeah we're fine dude. <laughs> we'll do that yep back to full hp now this we go we have defense buff and will prop yeah <laughs> you're not killing me dude this will take so long oh god dude she's not taking damage man <laughs> she is not taking damage and the one is healing her up back to full every turn what imagine how provoke works in the actual world of epic seven like imagine you're you know in your kid, you're, you're a character in Epic 7. In your kid, you can provoke something. What are you gonna do? Just call them an idiot and they're just gonna, oh, I'm so mad, I'm gonna kill you now. All right, I'll just have to wreck enough souls. This is already over. It's just a matter of time. All right, can we end this perfectly with Shadow Knight? Oh, man. Boom. All right, that was the first one. That was, that was great. That was, that was hella great. There's like a Omega Gazillion amount of chance that this Rimuru is gonna destroy me. But yo, I, I realize I've got a book on CDOM. It's just not. This is not that plus 30 one, it's like a plus 2 one. Alright, here we go. Attack buff, crit damage buff, soul burn. I should be able to kill the room. Oh no! I don't know how much that did, but <laughs> it's probably... That thing's even... That thing's as tanky as the whale. Are you dumb? Of course, there's there's a better way to deal with that. I'm just... I cannot be arsed to sit there. I just want to cleave it. But whatever. Today's about Shadow Knight, so I don't really mind. This one again. You can do it again. <laughs> Alright, round one. This should be pretty clean. 
We got two counters to violate. You're fucked. So the idea here is to flatten into something. I'm not sure who, but it's gonna be something. Destroy the kid and then mill him here or stand it here. He's gonna be able to spend one sovereign on the RV to kill him or just, you know, mill him as three to kill the RV. We'll see what happens. So yeah, it should not be too hard. Round two is the easiest one I'll ever get. I never could imagine that I could look at this team and say it's easy and there's a three star unit on my team. There we go. So we're just gonna go. All right, that's a really, really quick lolly. I could just sovereign this, you know. <laughs> We just do this. That why is not gonna even get a turn if I land everything. Really enough, you have no immunity. What the hell, dude? Boom. There we go. You're so dead. <laughs> you are so dead. All I'm gonna do is this. This will go, and then I can just not sober. And I can literally just one shot this little flying child. Freaking angel have an ass. I bet those wings are just fake, man. Oh god, take the 56k. <laughs> okay. All right, I could sober now. I think I'll do this. I'll spend one sober on the uh violet to kill him. No. Ah, all right, let's never, ever, ever do that. Now we'll spend this on you, boom. Take the 54k? All right, only 40k, but oh well. Okay, Flan's probably gonna take a hit here. Or I could so- or, yep, do that. Absolutely, thank you. I should be able to just outspeed still, and yeah, I do. This one should absolutely kill you regardless, so yeah. <laughs> 30k on that one. Bro, Jesus Christ. All right, that was- Quick. I've edited this for like twice where there's like a conquer Liz Lilius on their end. I'm so tired of looking at her animation already. So shit, dude. Hell can only imagine what my editor has to go through looking at all these <laughs> conquer Lilius' animation. Oh, here we go, Ray Robbie. We're fine, dude. How am I gonna edit this? This is gonna be the exact same thing as the last one. What the hell could go wrong? It's a 19k billion, so by all means, you're gonna injure me again. She didn't injure me. What the hell's going on? <laughs> she didn't injure me. What, bro? You need to farm those Katie's, man. You have to. It's probably a counter set. Yeah, it is a counter set one then. Well, I don't mind that. I don't really mind that. That just means I just win. You can't even bring me down like 70% HP then. Just do this, provoke, so we get a bunch of will, um, will props. Right, you know what? I think I'll just kill you first. You're, you're more annoying than most people. As we go, they're still gonna injure me because there's a rabbit of course. And finally, Dust Devil. I was wondering when it's gonna prop for the first time in today. I think that's the first time it probably wasn't it? Just provoke it once more. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, Shadow Knight Finish. I want to copulate. Wait, I want to cooperate with you. She's so good, man. I had never felt safer when facing toxic little pooper like this ones when I when I use a team. Like, I feel so safe right now. There's nothing they could do. We're absolutely safe. D double goes. Boom. It's been a while since I propped a D double into, you know, a normal hit and then into a devil, a, a nimble sword. It's always nimble sword twice or once. Or, or like no nimble sword at all. I never felt safer. This is so so safe. I've also been reading one comment, and apparently the guy that mentioned that that told me about Phyllis was like, "Yo, I'm happy for that it works, man. I'm happy that you exist, or else I'll be crying still right now and ranting all the time." Man, well, now I've I feel so safe. This is this is my safe space now. I can't believe there will come a day when I see a bellion and of god darn. Um, Lily is on their end and I will say that I'm safe. It's so it's such a beautiful thing Right again though. There's something about this this whole guild But their a Robbie does not want to proc the timeless anger or the crimson seed. Just proc it I don't want to provoke you dude. There we go. Good job. You just send herself home for no reason because you could go and yeah it's gonna count. Oh, that was that was a shame for you. We could show ourselves face the same shit again. But you've already seen. You're, I'm pretty sure I've convinced you how it worked. But this guy here, child labor, he clearly likes child like me. But no, what I mean to say is clearly scr um, struggle against the first team. Let's take a look at what he used. Yeah, that's not working, dude. Honestly, if he used uh, Rowana and Shadow Knight Feliz instead of Crow and LQC, he would have probably won. Because, you know, Violet could still do a bunch of stuff. There's a lot of AoE, so Violet could just pop off. So, yeah, I mean, I sound so cool cocky and <laughs> I was like ranting so much just two days ago. Round one, we're gonna do this. I think I can do Straze anyway, which eh. You know what, we're going for that. The idea with countering Lilies this way is you have one buffer here that could cleanse, basically a million. Usually it's a million. And then you get one dark unit. The other unit cannot be a dark one. Just put one dark unit here. This Lilith is gonna control the dark unit and to put two debuffs on him. And all you need to do now is you just have like a decently fast a million to push whoever that Lilith is targeted and just take a turn that way. And if it's a Straza, one of them is gonna die. I'm hoping it's the, uh, 
Hey, Ravi. She'll have Vigor Bob, which is a bit iffy. It's a bit dangerous, but we should still be able to kill. And after that, we got Millum to just murder all of um, Andy. Should not be too hard, I think. If we don't, we just have to survive for one turn, and we're definitely gonna kill it the other turn, I think. Round two. Same thing, but instead of, you know, the X. This is like the flex unit. You can just put these two together, destroy any villains in your way, and then just put whoever for the last one. In this case, I picked Stena. It should work, though. But here we go. All right. She outspeeds as, as usual. We expect this. It's all right. And yeah. Yeah, we'll have to look at their landing. It's it's it is a guiding light landing, which is actually okay. That defense buff would be annoying, but it's not because I'm using a gosh on Straze, dude. We should still be able to kill it. Because if we have enough attack, we'll just ignore all the defenses, right? Don't matter if you have it or not, but the barrier might be a bit annoying. Well, guess not. We did 30k. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. All right, this shouldn't be too difficult at this point. Actually, it is. I don't think I can kill the um, um, Landy in one turn, but we're close. Amelia might die though. Yeah. And heal up. We get a barrier and everything. This will hit me, and it's going to hurt. But you cannot. You literally cannot hit Milim. It is not possible to hit Milim. I've got invincibility on Straze, so I'm absolutely safe. Now I can do just sword this. Get rid of all your buffs and in turn just kill you instead. <laughs> right, at this point, what do you want? We lost um, a million, but hey, it's, it's our last one. I don't mind. Right, now we got our evasion again. Can you just die from me? I really don't want to waste my time. Thank you, dude. I never thought asking works. Here we go, the final one. I outsped somehow. What the hell? I might as well hit the belly in. And we are actually, we might be able to just spend a heal. We might be able to spend a heal on well. It's a counter belly. That means you, you've already lost. You've literally already lost because it's a counter belly. And here we got Shadow Knight. And the fact that she can not miss the S3 is just some people forget, but yeah, she cannot ever miss it because of a skill tree. Skill tree, skill tree. Why is it so hard to say that? Right, we spend one of her heals, which is nice. Now, the, the violet will not be the ap apple, which is basically what I'm, I'm aiming for. I'm hoping I just lap the violet enough that I can do the S3 again, which probably not gonna happen, but oh well. <laughs> it is what it is. You touch me and the dual attack. I'm actually happy you dual attack. The more you dual attack me, the more will procs I get. Yo. Alright, counter me again. Go ahead, dude. I really don't mind. At this point, you really, literally cannot kill me, no matter what you do. Zuko, you could proc your thing, but it really doesn't matter. The apple's gonna go. Well, it's gonna have to apple, unless I provoke him again, which... You know what? It's a Shadow Knight for this video. We're gonna have you take the spotlight. Just hit him again. Oh, Christ! But yeah, the S1 on her, I'm pretty sure you get increased hit chance as well. So that's why I keep hitting a Violet, right? Now, yeah, she... He could apple, but I've got S3 again. <laughs> All right, this this cannot miss. I've never seen this, uh, this miss. I think mathematically it's not even possible to miss this. So yeah, get Provo for the third time in a row, dude. I'm hoping to not hit the Violet so that uh, Ruel would, you know, revive on the belly. But oh well, he's gonna do it and I'm forgetting Violet, isn't he? But it's fine though, I can take one apple. I don't mind. It's only bad if he hits Rowana. Otherwise, I'm absolutely fine. Because you know, I've got so much defense on freaking... Uh, Shut on, I feel this is that it doesn't matter. There we go. This is gonna do like what? 4k damage top? Oh, I guess 5k, but. <laughs> oh, I deducted like 600 out of that because of the heal, so. You have to heal again. Okay, this will be one of those fights. Oh, this will take a bit for a last fight. Alright, this is one of those balance as well that keeps rocking this. How the hell? This is so boring. Alright, this is. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This. This Valiant, if, if you are coming into this, you're coming into this fight with any normal characters, normal heroes, you're not killing it. You're not. Any other team, and when a Valiant procs so many of those, um, of, of those counters, you're not winning no matter what you do. It's literally impossible. She literally took five turns and she keeps taking, that's the sixth turn or something. Every one turn I take, she takes five. Dude, you're not, you're not beating that yet. If you're not using the team I'm using right, you're not beating that. Unless if you cleave them or something. But yeah, if you're bruising and she does that, you're not beating that. I don't care what you say. If you bring back Belly and I'll have to kill her again before I can get more souls, which... Bro, it's so, so unfair that she just takes one mechanic out of your game. What the fuck, dude? I, I actually might get stalled out. Dude, Belly and... Oh. Oh, you are literally taking the piss. Who's gonna bring back Violet already? Are you kidding me? It's so dumb. This is so unfair. I hit someone else and you still take the- What the fuck do you want from me? And back comes Violet. Ugh. We're gonna get them eventually. Putting it well in the side like a bell in that prowl so many times. It doesn't matter what you pick. You're dead, dude. I don't care what you say. Right. Provoke. Uh, oh yes. Oh, oh yes. Yes, that's a good way to end this, Phyllis. Phyllis is weirdly my best investment in the entire game. I've never done a better investment. Holy shit. All right, so that was a clean two wins in a draw. It's not as clean, but I mean, 
The fight that I lost, I kind of just got lazy and I was like, I'm just gonna build this dude. But yeah, that was Shadow Knight Phyllis. Impressive. Really impressive. Holy shit. That was with like an unreforged boot. You kidding me? And the boot looks like this. It's a bruiser ass boot. It could be even tankier if these were like defense. And the best part about this is Rowana. It's literally a free gear Rowana. I've, I've showed it yeah, a couple of times before. I don't even fully mola this. <laughs> so yeah, that is all today. If you enjoyed this channel, have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.